Hello everyone and welcome to The Good Old Gamer. So, like many of you guys out there, I'm just over it. The current GPU market is just screwed, let's be honest. Talking about this stuff just isn't that much fun anymore, and many of you guys are tuning out. The channel has suffered because of this, because it's just not that great right now. So, what I've been thinking is, focusing completely on PC desktop gaming might not be the best way to go. We live in a market now where AMD is basically charging what Intel used to charge for their CPUs, and on the GPU side, AMD is now just following NVIDIA. So there's not really a whole lot of competition there, and honestly, this is just getting kind of boring, and we can't buy any of it anyway. The upside is, outside of the desktop PC gaming, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on out there. There's a lot of new devices being developed and different ways to game, different peripherals, just all sorts of cool stuff. And honestly, that's what I've gotten really interested in here lately because this isn't that interesting, but there's tons of other stuff. So moving forward, I wanna start exploring that with you guys. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today here in this video. But talking about changing things up a bit, we have today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers classes in illustration, graphic design, photography, creative writing, financing, marketing, web development, and much, much more. For me personally, I'm interested in upping my graphic design game and learning from experts like Temi Coker here, I can go ahead and gain the skills necessary to help up my game here on YouTube. One of the best parts about Skillshare is it's incredibly affordable, coming in at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. This is much cheaper than going off to your local college to learn basically the same skills. And right now is a special promotion for the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below. Skillshare will give you a free premium trial to check out their service. With the world the way it is today and nobody knowing how 2021 is going to shake up, there's never been a better time to hunker down, gain new skills, build your resume, all from the comfort of your own home at a very affordable price. So go ahead, take advantage of that link. It is in the description down below. Start your free trial and get learning and having fun. All right, so when NVIDIA announced their Ampere lineup of graphics cards, I was personally very excited. We were getting a pretty substantial increase in performance per dollar, especially relative to something like Turing, which was basically no performance per dollar increase. So this time around, things were looking pretty good. Obviously, fast forward six or seven months, you can't buy the things, uh, RTX 3080s that are supposed to be $700 are now over $2,000. So after months and months and months of talking about this, obviously it was kind of interesting as it was happening. It's like, why is this going on and blah, 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 blah. But now we already know crypto mining, lack of supply. That's just the way things are. And honestly, over the past few weeks, Talking about this kind of stuff has really become a drain on me personally. And I've noticed many of you guys in the comment section, you're like, who cares, can't buy it, uh, not interested, I'm waiting till this year, or next year, I mean. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense. And over the past few weeks, I, uh, we've had an unseasonably warm stretch of weather, and I've just been kind of going outside just chilling, and I'm just like, who really cares about that stuff? You know, like I'm sitting there just like trying to think up like, different topics that I could talk about on the channel, and I just kept coming up blank. I'm like, this just isn't that interesting. So what I want to do is, instead of focusing solely on PC desktop gaming, is broaden the horizon, become more inclusive, and start looking at gaming as a whole. There's a lot of really cool technologies out there, as I mentioned before, that are kind of changing things up and might change your perspective or fulfill needs that you didn't even know that you had. For example, uh, just a few weeks ago, I backed the Aya Neo on Indiegogo. I should be getting this next month. It's a little handheld thing, kind of like a Nintendo Switch-sized device. It's using a Ryzen 4500U APU in there. So it's a full-on x86 handheld machine. When paired with a docking station, can also double as a desktop PC. Now, this is the type of device I've been waiting for for a long time. I have a huge PC library, and... Outside of some very niche products, never really had something, like I said, basically just like a Nintendo Switch, where I could take that entire game catalog with me 
on the go. So I want to check out devices like this because for a lot of people out there, this is the perfect sort of device for them. If you travel a lot for work and while you're on in the car or on a plane or train or whatever, you might want to just sit there and game a little bit. You can literally charge the thing with a, you know, a lighter outlet or something, so it doesn't draw a lot of power, so you don't even have to worry that much about that. And when you get to wherever you're going, you might need to do some work. You throw it into a little docking station, keyboard and mouse, hook it up to the TV in your hotel room, poof, you now have a fully functional desktop. So this is the first time that we have a device that's this versatile available. And there's several different ones doing similar things. So to me, this is very, very interesting technology. With the way I have the channel set up now, talking about that stuff isn't gonna do very well and actually hurt the channel. So what I wanna do is transition into looking at more unique things like this. There's tons of other examples that I could use. This is just one that I'm going to be doing because I've already paid for it. So that's coming next month once I get the unit. Um, but there's a lot of peripherals out there, a lot of different devices, input devices, displays, and just cool little things like that that can alter your current gaming experience to make it better, or even older gaming experiences. For example, I just picked up this PlayStation 3 controller off Amazon. Uh, if you take a look at it, it's more like an Xbox style controller, which to me fits my hands a lot better. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't enjoy playing my PlayStation 3 a whole lot is because I didn't like the controller. This little guy, $17, this might make me enjoy playing the PS3 much, much more. And I would argue the PlayStation 3 has the best exclusive catalog of any of the PlayStation consoles. So something like that, little $17 fix, now brings back to life a brand new experience on an old piece of hardware. Something like that I think is far more interesting than a GPU that you can't buy or is massively overpriced. So that's more the direction that I want to go. I either want to enhance your current gaming experience and make it better, Sometimes it'll be a cheap solution like that. It might be something expensive like an OLED, but any which way you slice it, those are available. You can actually go out and buy those here today and enhance your current experience. Or cool new devices, like I mentioned, the Aya Neo. There's also the GPD Win 3, which is kind of a similar type device. And there's one or two others that I'm aware of. And that might actually be a market that starts blossoming. There's a lot of different companies now making portable gaming PC things. So as of right now, that might be something that's niche, but in the future, that might become a mainstream device. And if it fulfills a need for you, that's a cool way to go. Also, other cool little DIY projects I wanna start doing. Since my son's been born, I've been thinking of like all sorts of cool stuff that I could do with him. Um, so for example, I'm a big fan of Unreal Tournament. That was a big game when I was a kid. Uh, UT99, 2003, 2004. I didn't really care that much for UT3, but anyway, uh, I was thinking about, okay, well, you know, I wouldn't mind playing that with him when he gets older. So the issue to me is, is like, I'll be down here, he'll be up there. That's not that much fun. But what if I took like a little table, like a 40 by 40 table, I actually have one sitting over there, cut a hole in the middle, put a monitor mount in there. So monitor faces one way and then the other way. And then we could basically be facing each other directly get some tiny PCs, something like an IN Neo is gonna easily be able to handle Unreal Tournament 2003 and four. Um, even something like small form factor PCs, you just pop those up there, something easy to set up, and then poof, whenever we want to play, we can. And being that it's a folding table, when we're not playing against each other, fold it back up, put it away. And I was also thinking, well, okay, that's kind of cool for like a 1v1 type thing, but those are small tables and you can kind of just fold them up. You know, if I set up four of them, I can have a 4v4 match. And that actually applies to a lot of different games. Getting people over, having some fun, you know, do the trash talk directly next to each other. I think that that'd be a lot of fun. And I think that's a cool, cheap little project. You just jump on Amazon, spend a few bucks. You know, all you need is a power drill and a few little bits and pieces, screw it all together and poof, you now have yourself a little gaming station type of thing. So stuff like that, little DIY projects, I'm pretty interested in doing stuff like that moving forward as well. Now, traditional channel content isn't gonna completely go away. Now, if you guys are really only interested in like the news and rumors and leaks and GPUs and CPUs, and that's it. If you only care about desktop PC gaming, well, I'm still gonna cover all the big stuff. I'm gonna cover the big overarching stuff like new releases, uh, you know, if they're interesting. If they have no real relevance on, you know, 
people today, I'm probably going to skip it. However, link in the description below to the Techonomics podcast. That content's basically going to be shifted over to there. Paul and I talk about the news, the rumors, the leaks, the specs, and that kind of stuff on that every single week. And we cover all the big topics. So you guys can still get all that content just by subscribing over there. Hit the notification bell so you make sure you know when those go live. They go live on Tuesday. Here in the United States, it's usually around noon time, central time. So, you know, you guys can kind of figure out what that is for your time zone. But every Tuesday, those go live. We cover kind of the stuff going on throughout the week. We have guests on there. And uh, if you're a Patreon member, you can actually ask questions every week of me and Paul, and we'll actually answer them on the podcast. And if we have guests, you can also ask them questions as well. So that's a big benefit to anybody who supports me over on Patreon. Once again, links are in the description below. Patrons, you're going to be a huge support system for me changing things up. I'm going to be relying on you guys a lot. I'm going to be asking them questions. So if you're not a member and you want to help kind of shape where the channel goes, go ahead and become a patron. Go ahead and get Discord access. I'll interact with you directly. I ask for feedback a lot. And those guys usually generate the content that you guys watch here on YouTube. They'll send me articles of things that they find interesting. And if I go, hmm, that is interesting, a lot of the times I will do a video on it. So those guys directly affect the channel as it is now, and they will moving forward. I ask them for feedback all the time. So if you want to get involved, if you want to become a good old gamer member, Go ahead, link in the description below. There's also a PayPal link on the channel homepage. Just message me and I'll go ahead and send you the Discord link and give you access there. So I'm going to be relying on those guys a lot as shaking up a channel will hurt view count, will hurt income. And since we're going to be going more hands-on with a lot of stuff, I'm going to really be relying on you guys here moving forward more than I ever have before. Well, already guys, I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. Changing things up. Looking at the positive sides of things instead of just, yep, new GPU coming out, it's overpriced, and you're not going to be able to buy it. By the way, MSRP is like one-third of what it's actually going to cost. You know, that's not fun. And realistically, that's kind of how things are going to go here for a while. In the future, things will change up, things will get better, and when there's good value to be had there, I will certainly talk about it. But not even just in the meantime, I just think that there's a whole world of gaming out there that we don't really explore on the channel. And to me, it's just more fun. Like I said, ever since my son's been born, I've just been thinking of cool stuff that I could do with him as he gets older. And those sort of ideas to me are just more interesting. So I want to start sharing that with you guys. I want to start having fun with gaming again. And I want you guys to join me on that journey. If you want to support the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. YouTube will hurt me for a while because I'm not doing the same old content. YouTube doesn't like it when you change anything. So make sure you hit the notification bell. So this way you know when I do post videos. If you want to help support directly, Patreon links down below. I go ahead and post in there when my videos go up. So you'll always know when a new video is going up and you can directly influence what sort of content we're doing. But alrighty guys, that's really all I have for you here today. I'm super excited. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any ideas on sort of the direction that you'd like to see things go. And if you are only interested in basically desktop CPU and GPU content, Make sure you go ahead and subscribe over to the Techonomics podcast. Every single week, we always talk about that stuff. So you're never going to miss out on my thoughts on that stuff. Alrighty, guys, that's all I have for you here today. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.